Good evening and welcome to month news. This month, this month there was there was no pro-life rally or anything. There was no peaceful Brexit demonstration or anything. Uh, a, a far-right MP in Germany was not the victim of a targeted, politically motivated assault. And this transgender woman on a rampage did in no way split this stranger's head open with a fire axe. What are you, what are you even on about with that shizzle, you some kind of Nazi? Oh, unless, unless you are Owen Jones or Anna Subri or anyone else tasked with serving the public, you may go ahead and serve me my public arrest warrant. I am deeply, deeply sorry. Please feel free to call me a Nazi and shoot me against the wall while you're at it. And take solace in the fact that none of these things have and continue to happen eight. Nothing except this. <laughs> Look at the shiny. Look at the shiny things. In other news, and, uh, and as you'll have all seen by now, a marketing campaign has taken the world by storm, cynically depicting men as broken human beings and uncivilized barbarians whom we should all miss, fear and, and, and distrust. Uh, the, uh, the undeniably man-hating organization known as Gilet, pictured here, has been unapologetically telling the world that white men are bastards who need to be demeaned into obedience by the women and minorities they oppress. And they're simply doubling down uh, against any, any brave fool who stands in their path. Boo! Shame! Sad! Our sources inform us that this mob of terrorist swine is sponsored by Dollar Shave Club, who have also publicly de declared that their custard base is a soiled brood of rattlesnakes. Bo boycott them today and embrace their competition. Yeah, the the thing is is the not thing. No, it no, it isn't not. This is Munted News, where the news news is you. Our bottom bitch story tonight, Baby Hitler, pictured here, the the unelected dictator of the fully automated luxury gay space fascist republic of Adolf Stan, has enacted a military coup against the good and benevolent king of Venezuela, pictured here. This is an outrage, said a bunch of Remainers as they quite literally marched through the streets of London, protesting the ousting of, of Super Maduro Odyssey. We don't believe in treasonous activities, said the Remainers. Treasonous activities, like overturning a democratic result. I mean, what kind of ass would overturn a democratic result? It's, look, it's a, it's a simple algorithm you have to follow. Is there an unaccountable communist juggernaut in charge of every aspect of our lives. If no, then revolt. If yes, then revolution is undemocratic. It's quite elementary. Why can't you racist fuckskins understand that? Excuse me, I need to eat my own intestines every hour on the hour or my pet ghost hamster will die in my dreams. Get out of my house! All right. Due to the latest... Due to the latest technological revolutions, thousands of reporters have lost their jobs. Oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> There's a bit of a mix-up here. I was, re I was reading the news from 10 years ago and every year since. Here we go. Due to the latest technological revolutions, thousands of coal miners have lost... Oh, shit, Christ. my bad. That's not even news. <laughs> not even interesting. Just fragile white males complaining. <laughs> they don't get to wear blackface anymore. Come to think of it, I hereby officially and unambiguously call on every member of the public to shoot, stab, and beat to death anyone who appears to be working class. And I will personally suck every dick I find that bears the coagulated bloodstains of the poor. Because I care! And in the meantime, bombard these bastards with hashtag learn to coal mine. Ha! It's the only way these troglodytes will learn. Yeah, this is how you journalism, ladies and gentlemen. Now, here it is. Here's, here's the real story. Due to the latest technological revolutions, 
Thousands of whamans have lost their jobs. Just because they're whamans. I mean, does anyone still have the audacity to tell me that the internet isn't misogynistic? It's actively and deliberately steamrolling over the lives of honest, decent, socialist activists. I mean, factually, factual journalists who, who, who happen to be women. How, how are these poor, innocent angels supposed to get through the 167 and a half hours a week they spend not crafting their masterpiece listicles about the 10 most unbelievable marine arthropods I've found in my vagina. What are they supposed to do? Live off their rich husbands and their child support? It's monstrous, I tell you. It's the only reason we still have single mothers. Here's some, here's some footage of a deadbeat dad who refused to give his starving ex-wife the farthing a week she needs to put turnips on the table. Like some kind of cold cybernetic terminator from the 50s. Tearing down travel lodges like he's smacking secretaries on the ass. Have you ever seen a more, a more stark proof that men are toxic and white privilege is real? There he goes. Thoughtlessly manstroying someone else's public property. No doubt this hotel lobby was painstakingly constructed by honest, hard-working women who work for nothing. The oppressed and marginalised gay women of colour spent years putting this centrepiece together and then a straight white man comes along with his, with his toy truck snuffs it out in a heartbeat for no reason has there ever been a more revealing symbol of the rich man and his th tyrannical iron grip over the helpless 99% of impoverished women and minorities I feel sick folks I feel like my feet have turned inside out and are projecting backwards through my gorged esophagus and there's nothing I can do about it but enjoy it begrudgingly all you have to do is pay me one of these days I'm gonna shit and then you'll all be sorry you'll all be covered in sorry I'll laugh I'll laugh shit up my nose and you'll die <coughs> good night this has been Monday News I'm on subscribe star now and also flacker who are you camera people how did you get in there answer me <laughs> <laughs>